All right. Um, I included uh, this slide here because this is something uh, that uh, I see a lot of developers get wrong, uh, and it's a, it surprises me. Uh, and so, what's the scenario that that, uh, that I'm talking about? Well. Oftentimes, a developer will need to present a single record of information, and I find that a lot of developers instantly go to creating items and creating like a row fetch and like and fetching the value, um, which that's great if you're trying to edit that information. But if it's just strictly presenting the information on the screen, I don't think items have any place uh, for this. Um, now, there might be some use cases where you say, you might say, yeah, but Tyson, I need to use this value elsewhere. Sure, there might be some use cases that um, uh, you could you could find uh, where you want the item, uh, an item for some reason. Uh, but I would say the vast majority of use cases, you could do a single row view without any items, and uh, you, you can create a much better, uh, it's very easy for you to create some dynamic actions and user interface controls to modify what record you're looking at. So one of the things that you need to do is you need to identify what is the primary key or the unique identifier for the data that I'm looking at and just make sure that you include that in the where clause. And then the other thing is now it's gonna be really easy if we wanna change what record we're looking at, we're still in declarative apex, right? It's still very easy uh, for us to make that happen. Let me show you. Single row view. All right, so here, oh, let me go ahead and select nothing. Um, and we can see that we have our data uh, here on the right-hand side. And we have this little filter uh, uh, by, uh, which should say employee, but it's, it's saying employee number. Uh, and notice how when I, I pick a value, uh, it kind of updates on the right hand side uh, and uh, notice I can't edit any of this if I want to edit you know I could have a little link that goes and takes me to an edit screen somewhere else maybe a modal dialogue or something but I'm just presenting information that's the only purpose here hmm well how do you achieve something like this it's really not that hard Here you can see that we have our single row view and notice there's no special query going on here. I'm just selecting all data from the EMP table. That's it. Uh, I made sure that I added a where clause that was on uh, whatever the unique identifier is or the primary key is for this report. And I also made sure that I have the page items to submit, uh, which matches any bind variables that I find here in my where clause. Fantastic. But how does that explain the data looking the way that it, that it does? Well, again, I just make sure that under my report attributes, I pick the appropriate template. And the template that I chose this time was value attribute pair column. So each column that I return is going to be a value attribute pair. And so if I wanna control exactly how something looks or how something behaves, uh, I can uh, totally just come and declaratively change the columns that I'd like to use. Um, I would also like to take this uh, as a moment to say that um, there's another uh, underused uh, feature or a feature that I find pretty interesting in classic reports. And that is, if you wanna add a link, uh, I find that a lot of developers will come in here uh, and uh, you'll have to you know, change this to SQL query. You'll add a null, like you'll select null from um, your table to kind of add this little placeholder so you can create a link. Notice that I haven't done anything like that. Well, what you can do is on columns, you can actually right click and create a virtual column. And so this will make a, typically uh, you would use this to make a link or potentially an HTML expression of some sort. And so that's what I did here. You can see this derived uh, 01 is here. Uh, there we go. And we can see that it's trying to uh, generate a link, or it is generating a link. Uh, and uh, I am actually using uh, the universal theme sample application or reference application to build an interesting looking link here. I didn't write any of this code, I just copied it. Let me show you how you can customize your links to do that. And to clarify, this is what I'm talking about here. How do I make something like this? 
under reference, there's a little helper utility here called button builder. I'm not going to actually build out the button, but just know that um, here you can see it gives you link text and the link, excuse me, link attributes that you can copy into your application. So uh, if you want a text with icon, great, that's what it's going to look like. Here's what you include into your application. And again, this is the same universal theme reference application. And so, as mentioned, all the declarative features are still supported. It's very easy for me to make a link and uh, to inject information. All the things that we did on the first slide, I should be able to do there as well. 